Good people. Hey, Edward Wright here of Taught Right, and we are getting in a a good 15 minute uh, session here. Uh, we're going to just deal with the key of C. So we'll be in the key of C and um, we're going to I'm going to jam pat these 15 minutes. Uh, one, I just feel like teaching just to be honest. OK, um, so oh, I specialize in teaching music theory. Uh, well, teaching music, specializing in music theory, um, because there's many ways to teach. Um, but uh, there's I've discovered there's a few ways to really um, be able to help unlock things. And that's, you know, studying theory and applying it. All right. So that's enough talking. So let's see what we're going to do today. Yeah. So we're going to stand key of C, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one. All right. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Or one. I'm sure the C major scale is probably one of the most famous scales because it's C. No sharps or flats. All right. So. Our first chord is going to be that one chord. For that one chord, we have one, three, five, and three. Now, you can voice it however you'd like to, uh, but this is for the sake of what we're doing. All right, so. And then we're just going to invert that same chord. We're still on that one chord. So now we have the three, five, one, and five. Okay. See that? Let's do it again. You see that? All right. Let's move on. So we have. Yeah. All right, so we have one, invert it, then that two. So that's the two minor seven. The two of C is D, one flat three, flat seven, and flat three of D. Okay, so we have. And then we're gonna invert that chord. Now, all that we're doing, we can kind of really talk about it, and we are uh, to really see how we can dive into it. So we have the C major chord. Now, that is the C inversion, but this also could be an E minor sharp five chord. See that? We have the one flat three in the sharp five of E. Okay, just for the fun of it, just for giggles, so that we can understand and open up our minds to what theory okay so one three two now we're back at that two minor seven right and then the four four major chord now we know that makes sense because the uh d minor is the relative minor to f major see that d minor seven not f major chord now, if we put that D on the bass, now we have a D minor seven. Do you see that? One, flat three, five, flat seven, flat three, and five. Now, we picked that D up from our pinky left hand, and now we have an F. Now, we just have an F major chord. Do you understand that? So, the D minor chord is relative to the F major as like or, or just as the same f major is the relative major to d minor okay that, again that's the purpose of music theory to help unlock make everything make sense so then you can just see by you know moving one note or using an inversion oh it's all related okay 
now uh, that we understand what we're doing, or at least we have a, we at least we've heard it. <laughs> Even if you don't understand it totally, that's okay. Uh, it's about being, you know, open to the information. And even if it comes to you, if it takes six months for you to get it, it's okay. Most of us uh, who've been playing, we've been in this for some years, <laughs> you know, so you, you are right. Okay. Now, um, so we have, let's start at the beginning. One, three, two, four. Then back to that three. One, four. So the four of C is F major seven. Well, the F, excuse me. And we're doing the F major seven. So our left hand, we're doing the one, five, seven. Our right hand, we're doing the nine or the two, three, and five. Okay. So we have one three two four three one four that's our base okay so let's do it again we have the one chord three chord two minor four major back to that three minor sharp five or c over uh the three back to one c major now F major seven. See that? So let's do it again. Uh, again. Again. Okay, one more time. Okay. So, that's what we're going to do. Now, let's talk about this F major 7 to really make sure we understand it. Now, we're still in the key of C. And F is the what of C. F is the 4. How, how do we know that? One, whole step two, whole step three, half step four. Okay? So F is the four of C. Now, doing the F major seven, uh, the formula for the major seven is one, three, five, seven. The formula for the major seven is one, three, five, seven. And so how one way we can play it, one way that it's, we can play it and, and it's still very warm. In our left hand, we have the one, the five, and the seven. How do we know that? One, whole step two, whole step three, half step four, whole step five, whole step six, whole step seven. So that's the one, five, and seven, okay? Then our right hand, uh, we uh, again, the simple, a very home kind of way to voice it is the nine or the two, three, five, and seven. So we have the nine or the two, so that's F would be one, A would be two or the nine, three would be uh, A, Five would be C, and the seven would be E. See that? That's the F major seven. Okay. Now let's go ahead and flatten that three in our right hand. Play it. Now we have the F minor with the major seven. Now you're saying, man, where would you use that? Let me show you. And this is the whole purpose of understanding theory. So you can kind of open up your mind to chords, you know, so. See where I put it? And it sounds great, even though it's kind of 
weird by itself, but when you put it all together, oh, it's, it's a, you know. And you can always do that on top of that. Then we're still in C. Oh, that's what, you could put it right there. I didn't think that would it would be great right there, but again, that's the whole purpose of theory to open you up. All right, so let's do that again. I didn't know that was gonna go so well together. <laughs> so we had the C. E, two minor, four major, back to that three, one, four. Now make that four minor with the major seven. All right, so I'll just do the arpeggio with my sustain pedal down. That's what my left hand did. You see that? Let's do it again. I was trying to slow it down. I may have done it wrong though. See that? Okay, so and then come on back to the C. Go back to that F. You know what I mean? So the whole purpose of this one, hopefully you were able to follow and I was able to give you some good stuff. It wasn't so much about being so structured, but just being free to play. <laughs> and shed a little bit all right so i am edward wright thank you so much for uh watching and viewing the video uh if you have not please consider subscribing and uh, to the channel and uh, and liking the videos and sharing them and and all that good stuff and um if nothing else you just continue to keep playing you know, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, hey, keep playing. So we're just doing a minor chord, starting that E minor, then the F sharp, and just go up whole steps. Back to that E. F sharp or G flat. Oh yeah, F sharp. It's, it says F sharp there. <laughs> I was always wondering. I try to let my terminology be the same as theirs. I'm talking about the MIDI too, by the way. Again, 